What's up everybody, Zach here with Southern Loan Retrievers and we are doing another Sick of Gear review. Today we are covering arguably between maybe one or two other pieces some of the best uh, overall layering, uh, multi-purpose layering in terms of warmth and actual protection from the elements regarding vests. That is no other than the Dakota vest, okay? Comes in two colors, of course, uh, for the waterfowl line. We've got our timber, and we also have our waterfowl marsh color, okay? I'm gonna keep that one in the package now. We'll just work with this right now. So, guys, awesome vest, all right? If you guys have ever had the Dakota hoodie, um, it's, it's this minus maybe a little bit of insulation. It's really hard to notice, but You'll definitely have guys out there, guys or gals say, you know, hey, I'm not getting as much warmth out of this or that compared to the hoodie. And then they always put it up with the other vest, which is the Fahrenheit vest, which is one of my favorites. But remember, this is that multi-purpose kind of vest, okay? The Fahrenheit vest, now the Fahrenheit jacket, which I'm pumped to get. That's a big layering, okay? Big layering piece of clothing, all right? But it doesn't have that outer shell material to keep you out of the elements, okay? So let's read it right off of Sick of Gear's website, their description, and we'll go from there. So the Dakota Vest is a solid modular piece of gear to have in your duck system. Use it as an outerwear piece in moderate temperatures or a layering piece when the biting wind kicks up and you need protection and warmth. High hand warmer pockets plus traditional pockets work with waders bibs or pants to keep your hands warm between shots. Very straightforward, okay? Now again, we talked about the first episode with the duck oven. I'm probably gonna repeat it just about every episode, but Sitka keeps stuff simple, as complex as they design it, okay? Which is probably the best match in terms of designing gear and, and clothing in the industry, okay? So, the vest itself, all right? We'll start with the outer bit. So obviously the outer bit here, we have the Gore-Tex Infinium. That's what you see on the outer layer, okay? Starting from the top, okay, we've got the high neck, all right? The fleece or that, that actual uh, warmth, that warming material that we talked about on the first video on the collar, same as the duck oven, okay? It's almost like that felt kind of feeling, but very, very soft touch, especially when up against your neck, fully zipped, all right? So they have a uh, change, not a change, but just from what we're used to with the jackets, um, their breast pocket, all right? Left side, right, uh, right with the logo. You guys can see, flush with everything, but it's a magnetic, right there. It's a magnetic closure, which honestly, I'm starting to like a lot because I used to think, oh, stuff's gonna fall out of that until I started using it as a shell pocket. You find out that's really what it's designed for, okay? Close access, right there if you need those extra three or four shells. Um, and what's nice about it is, again, I was so skeptical about it. I'm like, I'm not putting my shells in there, especially if like, they're my backup three, because they're gonna fall out. Well, what's crazy about it is with the magnet there, it's powerful enough, as small as this little guy is, maybe the size of a, of a, of a dime, it will still capture the actual business end, um, or excuse me, the back end of those shells or the primers at, okay? The butt of the actual shell. Awesome pocket, okay? Maybe don't put paper or, you know, your really, really high security items, maybe not your wallet, um, but it's good to stuff calling. And what's nice about it is that you can see here, hopefully I can get a shot of this, you can see there's the magnet, right? You kind of have that, that shape right there where you can stick a call in right here from your landing. So a little more versatile of a pocket than most people think at first glance. All right, going on the zipper, of course we've got the actual felt piece that covers the zipper itself for when you, know, you put your chin down. In case anyone doesn't know what that is, that's, that, a lot of people forget to put that in there. And mainly because it's just a little bit more pricey to do so. When you put your chin down, okay, a zipper is relatively made out of like some sort of light metal or other kind of material that when cold, it doesn't really, it just stays cold, all right? And it's kind of annoying. 
this is just kind of that little thing that Sika kind of implemented um, to, to keep their, their wearers um, more comfortable. So, nice little addition. Moving down here, we've got our, I always like to call them the little Molly straps. All right, M-O-L-L-E straps. Um, what it's designed for, and I don't have mine up here. They're down in, they're over in the kennel actually. But if you've ever gotten one of their outerwear jackets, okay, like the, uh, uh, the coat, or excuse me, the uh, Delta weighing jacket, it comes with the same type of straps up here with a collar, okay? It also comes with uh, actual, I, I, of course, I can't remember the, the, the technical term, but it's pretty much a lanyard that isn't going around your neck and dangling everywhere. It's, it hooks up through one of these and hooks right back down. And some people like it. Some people ditch them as soon as they get them. It's just kind of one of those preference things. Me, I'm 50-50. Sometimes I'll use them. Um, other times I will not. So it's, it's situation dependent. Okay, again, one of their awesome zippers. It's small size, again. Real simple uh, manipulate, all right? Very easy. We have, as they talked about in the description, the hand warmer pockets right there at the chest line, okay? Again, they are lined. Very nice material. Does keep you warm if you're wearing wakers. Help me! Help me! Help me! And I've definitely worn and seen guys wear this vest um, maybe mid-season. Some guys will do it all the way out when they just got a big hoodie on and, and they'll uh, um, they'll just rock this over top at to block the wind, which is a great combo, okay? We'll get into that in a minute. Moving down to the bottom half, again, you have the standard, standard zippers. These are once again insulated, okay? Hard to get to if you're wearing waders, but if you're wearing it as a shell um, without waders, really nice, okay? Great place to stick shells. So, that is the outside, okay? Again, the Gore-Tex material, the Infinium material, all the way on the front and the back, logo on the right shoulder, all right? Breaking down into the inside of the vest itself. We have our, that Dakota material that we've always seen, whether it's in the hoodies or the vests like here. Okay, we got the 10 mile tag. Um, this is a large. It does fit the size. Again, it's a vest. You don't have to worry about the tightness on the arms. Um, what's nice about this, and it's a little thing that most owners don't realize, is they put the this Dakota fleece that we always see actually under the armpits. Kind of set that little, little section there. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe it's just me. I love that little thing. I can, you can definitely feel the difference. I've definitely worn vests where, you know, it's maybe just a straight fleece vest and nothing else besides a zipper and that's it um and for some reason that's just where the cold seeps in and that i think is the key to making a good you know versatile and warm vest is finding those little gaps that okay if i'm gonna rock a vest to block the wind which is mainly what this is designed for we need to cover up all the small spots where it might come in and and drop your core temperature down so I think they did a great job at actually making this design and work for what it was designed for, okay? Again, Dakota material all the way through. We've got our pretty much windbreaker fleece that's up around the neck for the pockets and down here all the way to the bottom. We've got our actual bungee uh, uh, cord that goes all the way around the base to tighten it up. Again, if there's wind coming through. All right, so kinds that you can, or different ways you can wear this, all right? You can wear it as a layer. I've had a lot of people ask me when I was, before I was making this video, they said, you know, can you wear this as a layer? I'm like, of course, you know, if you don't have a vest and this is all you got and you want to wear a vest, go for it. It will keep you warm. Will it keep you warm compared to maybe a duck oven or a Fahrenheit jacket or a Fahrenheit vest? No, no, and that's probably the biggest complaint excuse me, out of wares with this jack or this vest is that it's not as warm as the Fahrenheit. Well, again, we've said a million times in the beginning, it's not designed for that. It will give you a little bit of warmth, not as high as the other ones, but it'll keep the elements off you, okay? That, Gore excuse me, Gore-Tex Infinium material that I'm making the noise of 
isn't on the Fahrenheit vest or jacket. So you will get wet if you wear that out. Again, if it's just a little mist, you're fine. But this will at least keep it out better. Like I said, two colors, um, really great layering jacket. How you can wear it and how I like to wear it sometimes is I'll get a big, you know, big hoodie of theirs. You know, right now I'm wearing the uh, uh, the gradient hoodie. I just got it yesterday, man, I love it. Can't wait to do a review on this. Um, I want to field it first. But I'm, I'm pretty toasty right now and just came out from around the pups. I wish I would have worn this. I wore the uh, Streamline vest. Uh, did awesome, okay. But I wish I would have fielded this first to tell you guys how warm it felt in addition to this hoodie. Nonetheless, there's a million combinations we could do. We'll try to cover them all over the course of these reviews. So I give this, I'll give this a 4.5 out of five, okay? Only because it's not as warm and we described why, but for the sake of the review, 4.5 out of five. So guys, if you want it, hop on to sickagear.com, give it a try, and let me know what you think of yours. Thank you for watching. We're out. Try to catch me howling at the moon.